Hey, this tutorial is uh, is all about uh, dimensioning an object in CorelDRAW X4. And this is also in CorelDRAW X3, so both you can use this option. So the the dimension tool that I'm talking about is this dimension here, which is the last icon or the last two, which means say it's the dimension tool. Now, in, the dimension tool is very useful, especially for sign makers who are creating, you know, big or printing big uh, billboards and banners, and their clients wants to say, wants to know, okay, like how how high or how tall are the text, or let's say, for example, this box, okay, what's the dimension of that box? In Corel, you can always click on the box and you would see the dimension here right but now what if the client wants to have an artwork or a printout with the dimensions inside the let's say you know there are dimensions here you know like uh, it shows like say this is 40 inches or whatever okay. so that tool is the dimension tool okay. So when you click on dimension tool in the property bar here, you would see uh, some options like, for example, auto dimensions, and then say for example, vertical dimension. Let's say you want to know the height of this box, you go to uh, vertical dimension. Let's try that first. So if I click on vertical dimension, and uh, uh, one thing to know too that you have to change the setting or you have to activate the sna snap to objects um, option or alt Z it means to say uh, if your cursor or if you're if you go close to a node it snaps to every node or every endpoint okay so I go to my dimension uh, tool and then since I am snapping to all objects Right? So I click here and it snaps to that node and you would see, notice that there's node. Click and then go down and click and then move out. Okay. Now we have a problem here wherein the text is too small. So that's 15 inches. Right? 15 inches. Now before doing that, I would suggest to change the default text because the default text right now if I click on the A the text tool it's 24 points but the banner here is 72 inches by 48 it's a huge banner right, so 22 points with a really small text so in order to change the default you click on the text tool which is the A and then change it here I would change it to 200 points okay now your when you click there it would says there okay what do you want to do uh, do you want to do the artistic text or paragraph sorry leave it to artistic text and click okay. okay so every time I type in right now it would have a 200 point text okay and that will do too for the dimension so once you click on your dimension tool and then since it's snapping to a node click and then click down it goes there and you know that's 15 inches now you can also change the decimal point uh, by going to the options again of the dimension tool and then you can change the precision of the of the dimension so we have to do it again so you click on that and then change it to zero. You can also make it inches here or the sine inch. I'll just make it sine inch. So I click here and then there and then there you go, 15 inches. Now if just in case you don't see the arrow here, because the default of the line to line thickness is not because I already changed this line thickness, well make sure to go to your outline pen and change it to a higher value let's say here I put there 10 points because if if uh, I think the uh, point 0.5 is a default and you click OK you won't see the arrows because it's so tiny 
okay so to change that you click on your uh, outline outline pen okay make that graphic that's fine and then change this to a higher value which is let's say 10 points or say 8 points and then in here in the arrows because it's a dimension it's a dimension line so you click on that and click on this one too and then click OK so whenever you make a dimension snap snap okay it would have the right proportion right now for this text here so for example I want to know the thickness of the I mean the height of the text so I just go to my dimension tool and then I click there and then click here and then there you go it's four inches Now if you want to go horizontal, so you click your dimension tool and click on horizontal dimension tool. So I can click and click there. That's 51 inches. So that's useful especially in presenting this to a client so that they would know okay how big are the letters, how big is the box and the picture, how big is the picture and uh, yep yeah, so that's pretty much it